these payments. It's my reassurance it's from the bank. Uh, it's on the issue. edge of a precipice. So, fasten your safety belts for a good bumpy ride. towns so far have entered this race for one of the Portus pilot towns a hundred thousand pounds not a huge amount but it could be enough to really make a difference Do you know what, Corin? We need to apply to become a Porter's pilot town because the mood in Fetford is it's dying on its feet. It's in decline. It's dead and buried. It's over and out. It's gone down the swaddy. Terry, pull yourself together. We're councillors of this town. We must be positive. Let's do it. Let's get the people together and make this town great. Yeah, but what has this town got to offer? Well, this guy for starters. Did you know a small group of volunteers got together and decided to create a museum dedicated to the filming of Dad's Army, which was filmed right here in Thetford. Four years later, we've got a great museum, it includes a fabulous themed 1940s tea room, and we've had 20,000 visitors to this town. Well, yeah, but apart from that, what has Thetford got to offer? Well, look around you at the beautiful river setting. This must be better than a polluted road running through a town's heart. Can't you envisage boats on the river, a cycle path, cafes and bars? It wouldn't take much to take it to the next level. We have two of the most iconic characters in British and world history that have been part of our heritage here in Thetford. The warrior queen Boudicca led the Iceni tribe into battle with the Roman invaders from her Thetford site. She didn't shy away from a challenge. And what about Thomas Paine, one of the most radical political thinkers of the 18th century? He was born right here in Thetford. He was way ahead of his time, suggesting old age pension and equal rights. Come on, Terry, it's in our DNA to take on the fight. We're doomed, we're doomed. Who said that? Stupid boy. Come on, let's rally the troops. We've got a job to do. Break out the chariots, Boudicca. We have a battle to fight. Back in the local council, we have the backing of Brecon Council, we have the backing of the local MP Elizabeth Trout. So that's quite impressive. We've also attracted some extremely good members. So from a community basis, you might think, oh, it's just voluntary grid. We have HSBC Bank on board. And it's, in, it's important that it's not just seen in isolation. Long term, this is for the whole of our town, whether it be industrial or town centre. 